Okay. So in the previous video, we have discussed about the uh, light reaction, that is the cycling and the non-cyclic photophosphorylation. And in the non-cyclic photophosphorylation, I told that in a cytochrome complex, energy will be released, and that energy is used up in the combination of ADP with the inorganic phosphate to form ATP. But I told that it is not a very simple step. Uh, this is a very complex step, not that much complex, but it is a complex step for the formation of ATP molecule. So that ATP molecule which is synthesized during the cytochrome complex, that it, uh, formation of ATP molecule, it is explained by the chemiosmotic hypothesis. Now, as I told that light reaction will be completed, uh, it, will be, it will be having two phases. One is the cyclic photophosphorylation and the other is the non-cyclic photophosphorylation. And both the cyclic and the non-cyclic photophosphorylation, it will be taking place above the thylakoid. So here the structure that I have drawn here, it is the thylakoid, right? And this is the inner portion of the thylakoid, which is called as the lumen of the thylakoid. Thylakoid is having two membrane. One is the inner membrane, which is uh, having a complex, which is called as water splitting complex. So here I have written, it is the inner membrane of thylakoid. And the one is the outer membrane, that is the, okay, uh, it will be having a complex, which is called as the NADP reductase. You will get to know about the significance of water splitting complex and the NADP reductase, right? And above this thylakoid, this uh, Z scheme, and the cyclic photophosphorylation will be taking place. That is the non-cyclic photophosphorylation and the cyclic photophosphorylation will be taking place above the thylakoids. That because the pigments will be present above the thylakoids. Now you see. So here this is the Z scheme. I have already written the Z scheme. You can see that this is PS2 and that is the chlorophyll A. So whenever this uh, chlorophyll A of the PS2 receives sufficient photons, two electrons from it will get excited and will be accepted by primary electron receptor. From the primary electron receptor, the two electrons will be transferred to the plastoquinone. From the plastoquinone, it will be transferred to the cytochrome complex. So whenever this cytochrome complex receives two electrons, okay, at this phase, energy will be released. Okay, and I told that this energy will be used up in the combination of ADP with the inorganic phosphate to form ATP. But this energy is actually used by the cytochrome complex to accept two protons from the stroma. And that two proton which is accepted by the cytochrome complex from the stroma, it will be pumped to the lumen of the thylakoid. So cytochrome complex is accepting two protons, okay, and it is pumping those two protons to the lumen of the thylakoid. Now you see, there is two proton present in the lumen of the thylakoid. I told that whenever these two electrons will be out from the uh, this uh, chlorophyll A of the PS2, there is some uh, there is someone to compensate or uh, there should be someone to compensate those two electrons and for that water molecule gets broken down to break down for the breaking down of water molecule there should be a complex and that complex is nothing but it is the water splitting complex that is present in the inner membrane of thylakoid so this water splitting complex it will help in the breakdown of water molecule and water molecule it breaks down in the presence of light therefore it is called as photolysis of water so water molecule will be break, broken down into two proton, two electrons and one nascent oxygen. These two electrons will be compensated to the PS2 and this oxygen will go out, right? And these two protons that are being present now in the lumen of the thylakoid, okay, it will be present in the lumen of the thylakoid. Now you can see that the proton concentration is getting increased. Two proton, it has already pumped by cytochrome complex. Two proton it has produced because of the photolysis of water. Because of that, the proton concentration is more in the lumen of the thylakoid as compared to the proton concentration in the stroma. So a concentration gradient will be produced. So because of that reason, you can see that I have written, uh, I have drawn two protein molecule, one in the this membrane of the thylakoid and one is the outer membrane of the thylakoid. So this protein are nothing but the protein which is present in the in, uh, this membrane of the thylakoid, this is the intrinsic protein and this is the extrinsic protein. So all those uh, protons which is uh, more, okay, that means the proton now from the higher concentration, it will return back to the lower concentration. But we know that whenever a substance moves from higher concentration to lower concentration, it will be releasing energy, right? So this uh, intrinsic protein, it will help in facilitated diffusion of the these two protons, facilitated diffusion of the two protons. And this extrinsic protein that is present, that is F1, this F1, it behaves as ATPs, okay, ATPs. And whenever these two protons will be passing through the F1, that means whenever these two protons comes from higher concentration to the lower concentration, at F1, energy will be released. And that energy is used up in the combination of ADP with the inorganic phosphate to form ATP molecule.
right so that that's how the atp molecule is formed and these two hydrogen will be coming out right so that's how the atp molecule will be formed and these two hydrogen that comes out because two electrons from uh, from the plus two sign in it will be moving back to ps1 right and from ps1 again two electrons moves up primary electron acceptor accepted by primary electron acceptor two electron is donated to the ferridoxine it comes to nadp so whenever this nadp receives these two electrons these two protons or there will be other protons also these two protons and the nadp nadp that is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate in the presence of enzyme nadp reductase okay this nadp will be getting converted into the reducing power that is nadph2 that is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate hydrogen okay so you can see that now the atp is formed in the stroma here this, there is stroma because thylakoid is present above the stroma so atp and nadph2 is formed in the stroma and this atp and nadph2 it is formed in the stroma okay it will be used up in the dark reaction okay so now you get, you have uh, understood that how this atp is formed okay while i uh, okay the, while i have discussed about the when i have discussed about the generation of atp at the cytochrome complex right so this is all about the chemiosmotic hypothesis thank you guys